morning singapore good morning nice so i am going to talk about how you can uh, level up your ci cd workflows using github actions so i prepared these sessions for beginner friendly i don't know how many of you are students so can you raise your hands if you are a student okay we have a couple of students right fine so let me start the session okay before that uh, let me do a self introduction so my name is safnaj i am coming all the way from sri lanka and currently i'm working as a software engineer at cisco labs a small advertisement here and uh, these are some other communities that i'm being a part of so if you want to get connected with me or if you have any queries you can reach out to any of my social handles so yeah that's all about me and uh, yeah the agenda is simple we're going to talk about what is cid since this is going to be a beginner friendly and uh, why we need to use ci cd and uh, what is actually github actions and what are the benefits of using github actions and uh, finally we can have a demo if the time allows okay let me remind you the hashtags for today's event so if you are posting something on social media or if you are sharing your feedbacks about my talk make sure to follow these hashtags and my handles okay let me tell you a story of a typical developer so as a typical developers we used to develop applications and then we do some manual testing locally in our pcs and then we deploy right then we used to pray to make the deployment successful and we will be again do some testing on deployed environment and if it didn't work we had to go back to the develop stage if it is work we have to pray more to keep the application successfully so this is the saddest life cycle of a typical developer where cicd was never exist and that's where devops came into picture and back in 2000s uh, like departments like uh, developers and qvs uh, it team and security they worked individually to achieve something like uh, much needed in the it industry right so basically developers used to code and qvs will be testing you guys know the stuff right so cicd can someone tell you what is stand for cicd this can more into specific into students continuous integration and continuous development yeah uh, it should be continuous deployment or continuous delivery yeah it's correct okay i will give some github figures make sure to ping me okay so cicd stand for continuous integration and continuous delivery or deployments so let me start with uh, what is continuous integration so it is actually a phase and a practice in software development cycle so where developers work together in a single project and regularly do merging codes so this is uh, basically yeah, they are we will be giving out some basic such as a unit test and integration test maybe you can have some uh, code quality checks so within a short lived environment so what does it mean by a short lived environment in the sense so you just need to spin up an instance for a simple need right so you don't need to run all the time and uh, you can set up your repository where uh, someone every time they push the code the ci can trigger and it will be running so if there are any build or fails it will notify the relevant team so you can have a look at uh, what happened on ci ci pipelines so typically the ci pipeline involves the following task so it is used to uh, direct changes in your source code and uh, we can uh, build and generate the artifacts that we need to deploy and also we can uh, form basic tests such as a uh, unit test and integration test and uh, you can have a status of report so if you are having a code checker so there will be a status of report of uh, what is the percentage of uh, your coverage and if the above steps fail as i said earlier uh, this will uh, notify the relevant team so you can have a look and, and fix the stuff so there are some uh, so we using ci so first one is to develop a productivity so you don't need to build your applications manually where it's time consuming actually and uh, so there you can save some time and uh, you can find the bugs and address it uh, earlier before it's reached to production and grow a big problems later and you can deliver update faster right so you just push the foot so the ci will be running so you don't need to spend some time on your manual works and let's talk about what is uh, cd so cd is a software engineering approach 
So port changes can automatically deploy into a configurable environment. So it could be a testing or production environment. So uh, in practice, in simple term, developers code changes can go into live within a minute after writing it. And uh, if we can discuss about the benefits of using continuous delivery, uh, it's automate the process of software releasing. So you don't need to build the stuff and take into the, your server or whatever the platform that you prefer. And again, the developer productivity is high and you can find and address the bugs earlier and you can deliver the update fast. So typically CICD pipe can contain uh, cases. Uh, one is uh, where you can build and test and generate some artifacts for your uh, pipeline. And uh, the second phase is CD. So where you grab the artifacts and deploy into a uh, server or something. So let's talk about uh, GitHub Actions. So automate your workflow from idea to production. So we have seen such as some um, eight phases in DevOps cycle, right? So you can automate all those eight phases using GitHub Actions. So you don't need to spend some time on your manual works in any phase. So when it comes to uh, achieving DevOps culture in your company or your personal projects. So uh, automation is a crucial component, right? So GitHub Actions allow you to automate, customize, and execute your software development workflows right from your repository. And uh, uh, yeah, you can uh, build, test, and deploy your code from your repository. So you don't need to spin up some server. You don't need to connect your repository with some webhooks. You just have the configuration. That means the workflow file in your repository, it's simple as that. It will work. So why we need to use uh, GitHub Actions? So the first point is it supports multi-operating system, starting with Linux, Windows, and uh, Mac, and containers. So container is something we need to highlight here. So if you are coming from a Docker background, so you don't need to go with VM. So you can simply run your CICD stuff containers. and uh, Metrics means if you want to test your application in multiple operating systems, such as uh, Linux and Windows parallelly, GitHub Actions allows you to do that. So you can save more time on that. And any language, so far it supports most of the programming languages, such as Java, JavaScript, and you can see in the slide, Go, Ruby, and stuff. And live logs. So right after your workflow triggers, you can see the logs, what's happening in your CICD pipeline. So if something goes wrong, you can have a look at your logs and you can uh, fix it earlier. And the next point is built-in secret store. As a good developer, it is a best practice not to hard code the secrets and the token stuff in your source code or pipeline. So GitHub ha has its own secret store where you can have uh, organization level secrets or repository level secrets. So it can be, you don't need to hard code the stuff. And multi-container testing, again, it's similar to DevOps stuff. If you want to uh, run the CICD against your containers, so you can have a multiple multi-containers and make it uh, easier. And again, it's simple, right? So you don't need to be a super duper expert on DevOps. So if you are a developer who knows some basic stuff on uh, how to run a CI and how to generate the artifacts, it's simple, that's it. You don't need to have a wider DevOps knowledge to, do, uh, to work with GitHub connections. And there are like uh, five components in GitHub Actions, or even steps, jobs, actions, and runners. Let's discuss uh, one by one. We all together, we call it as a workflow file, which need to be written in YAML. So a workflow is simple. It's a configurable automated process that will run one or more jobs in your repository. So it's need to be defined in YAML, yet another markup language. So uh, you, a, rep a single repository can have multiple workflows. So you can have a workflow to run a CI, can have another workflow to do some lint testing. You can have one more uh, workflow, any number of workflows in your repository to perform some different tasks. And it's need to be defined in the directory called dot hub slash workflows. Otherwise it won't work. And again, there are some uh, rules for that. And a workflow should contain one or more events that can trigger the workflow. It's need to be triggered, right? It can have one or more jobs to execute the workflow in your run machines. And uh, either you can have a script or you can use uh, uh, actions templates. So 
typically this is how a uh, workflow file will look. So this is uh, a simple Node CI pipeline. So here you can see the event will be uh, listening to on push event on master branch and the pull request for the same master branch. So when someone made a uh, someone actually directly pushed to the master or someone made a PR to master, the workflow will start. And here you can see we can have a variables defined there. So you can reuse it later. And you don't need to always run your own actions using shell script or something. So you can use uh, templates. So this is the checkout template. That's mean you you once you uh, run your CI/CD in a Ubuntu server, you need to have the repo source code in your VM, right? So you just use the checkout action from action uh, repository. So where you, where we define the Node.js version and stuff, and uh, the next one is shell script. So if it is a Ubuntu machine, you can once you install the Node.js and stuff, you can perform these commands, right? So that is it. And this is a simple CI workflow will look like. Yeah, additionally, we have one more step where we upload the generated artifacts into this particular locations. So this is a typical CD workflow. So what we do is uh, the above step is to uh, build the artifacts and the deploy steps are defined to download the artifacts from the directory that upload and we are deploying to AWS. Here we have the secrets and stuff. So the, this is not hard coded. This is coming from the uh, GitHub Actions built in secret store. So events, we have like hundreds of events that can occur in a repository. So these are some uh, events that can occur. So here you have a link where you can see more more about the, how what are the events that are gonna trigger in a GitHub repository. So you can have your workflow which can trigger based on uh, someone pushed or someone made a fork or you can even run cron jobs. And there are like two types of GitHub events. So one is single event. So basically this event is going to be triggered when someone open an issue in the repository, otherwise it won't. And you can have a events, multi-events workflow. So basically this uh, particular uh, actions will be running when someone push or when someone fork in the repository. So jobs is uh, basically, uh, it's a combination of uh, shell script where you can reuse it later. So you don't need to always write the uh, shell script for all you need. So it's simple, like, simple as um, uh, re reusing the code, piece of code. And actions. So as I said, you, you can use uh, actions from different vendors in marketplace. So you can, uh, I will show you how it will look like in marketplace. And it's simple as even that triggers workflows, it's going to run some actions. So you can automate your workflows. Here you can see some uh, very famous templates such as uh, deploy Node.js uh, to Azure web app and publish Docker containers. So you don't need to write everything from the scratch. So if you want to publish a Docker container right after you merge a pull request, so you can configure this template, which is available in GitHub Marketplace. That's it. So we have more than 11,000 GitHub Actions template available in GitHub Marketplace. So you can have a look. And how you can use GitHub Actions. Here I will tell you some um, like interesting stuff. So first thing we know, we discussed about we can create the CI/CD pipelines using GitHub Actions. Second one, uh, you can auto label your pull request. You, you can have some configurations of what label need to be added if, if the PR contains these keywords. So you can have you can do that as well, and you can generate lighthouse report. How many of you are front end developers? One, only one. Okay, sad. <laughs> okay, so if you are if you are coming from a front end developing background, so you don't you have to check your site scores using lighthouse, uh, which is available in Chrome. So you every time what we do is uh, we used to test the report manually, so it will take a lot of time. At least five to seven minutes will be there. So you can configure this, that stuff in GitHub Action. So right after you push the code, Lighthouse report will generate to you. So you can check the score there. And you can have a code quality checker. So 
if you are working in a strict company like me, there will be a code checker, code quality checker. So you can have a sonar keep configured over there. So if if your unit test and the code quality stuff is above the threshold, your PR will be passed. Otherwise, it will be failed. And as we saw, um, you can uh, build containers and publish Docker images. So you don't need to remind the difficult Docker commands and you don't need to do it manually. So you just push the code, Docker image will be published in your configured environment. And security analysis, uh, in, that's an inbuilt uh, feature in GitHub. If you are like hard coded any secrets or if you have any vulnerabilities in your source code, it will be, you can even have an action for that. And automated infrastructure creation. So this is something hottest today and Terraform, you can create your infrastructure using GitHub actions and unit testing, linting, if you are coming from a JavaScript background, you know about uh, linting, right? So you can link to your code automatically. And you can deploy your application to any cloud platform. Uh, or we have like more than 11,000 of GitHub actions for all the cloud vendors. So you don't need to write everything. So you just use the template and go. And send messages to uh, or notification to people. So you can configure templates if the CI got passed, notify these people. And if this, uh, if the CI is failed, notify this set of people so you can configure those stuff as well. And finally, you can even order pizzas using GitHub Actions. So I have seen a company every sprint, if the if the release is successful, the GitHub Actions will automatically order number of pizzas for the team. So that's the condition they configure. So so let's discuss discuss about the pricing. So we have some blah blah pricing based on the OS and the number of minutes that you're going to run. So at GitHub, uh, they love open source, right? A lot. So if your project is a public one, GitHub Action is free for you. You can use any number of minutes for free. So I have a demo. I think I am running out of time. So let me show you the repo where you can see the workflow. So this is the demo I had. This is a simple React application. So I need to deploy this React application to Firebase. So if uh, when someone's merged the code, it's need to be deployed into live environment. Here you can have a look once you uh, want to do the same. And this is the live channel workflow. And the second one is uh, non-live. That means like this, I have configured this workflow. If someone uh, made a pull request to master branch, so as a front-end developer, I don't need to on that uh, particular branch and check the changes. So this will deploy to uh, preview channel in Firebase hosting. So when someone made a pull request to master branch, so there will be a channel generated for that. So I can have a look at, have, once I deploy it, there will be URL generated in the PR description. So I can have a look at the UI changes there. So that's the demo. Sorry for not starting the demo from the scratch. So I'm running out of time. And a little bit where to go from here, if you are a student, uh, please go for GSOC and uh, create your own GitHub Actions. If you are if you are a Linux background person, you can create your own GitHub Actions and publish on uh, GitHub Marketplace, so someone can make use of it. And open source and keep contributing to the community. If you have any questions, it's the time. Uh, yeah, well, we have time for a couple questions, if anybody has some. Thank you very much, Ahmed, for your talk. Yes, please go ahead. It depends on the OS and the size of applications. So if you, are, if you are going with the free plan, there's a limit for the uh, CPU power, right? So based on that free plan, on your of applications, it will it will take some time. Uh, what what language? Python or something? Python, yeah. yeah, Python. It will take probably with the free plan within four minutes. You can uh, get it done. Okay, All right. Any questions? Uh, was it, was it bring your own yes, yes, yes. That that's sort of a topic. I skipped those slides. So because uh, if you have if you have your own VM running on AWS or Azure, so you don't need to pay for GitHub. So you can configure the stuff to a VM. So the CI/CD pipeline will running on your machine, your own machine. Yes. 
Sorry? Mm -hmm. It's crashable. So, yeah, we need to install. So, otherwise, the code will break, right? If someone has a vulnerability dependencies, the CI will fail. So, that's where we need to always do some NPM install in the CI web and SL. Any more questions? Yeah, right. Okay. All right. Thanks, thanks a lot again, Ahmed. Thank uh -huh.